Hello, welcome back. We are going to see the timer control. To be specific, timer is not a control, it is a component. Components are those controls which are invisible at runtime. So I am going to place a timer control. And automatically, timer control will be placed inside the component tray. This is called the component tray. And when you run the application, you won't be seeing any visual indication of a timer present in the form, but you will be getting its functionality. That's why it's called a component. And by default, the timer is disabled, so I'm going to enable it. This control is used for automating some task. For example, after a specific interval, if you want to change the background color of the form, then you can use a time control, timer control. I'll clarify the point. Instead of you clicking on a button and initiating an action, automatically you want something to happen. There is the relevance of timer. So I'm setting the timer interval to 2000. So automatically the tick event of the timer will be invoked after 2 seconds. This 2000 is in milliseconds. So I'm double clicking on the control. So I'm taken to the tick event of the timer. Here I'm saying this backlog is equal to, I'm going to change the background color of the form. Let's run it. In fact, I didn't change the start of form. This is the fourth example. So after two seconds, automatically the color of the form changes to red. So we'll do some. We'll see some more extra properties of the form. Again, I'm going to the this is a property called window state. If I set it maximized, then it will be occupying the whole screen. So this is also we are going to do after that specific time interval is over. So I'm making it back to normal. So when you run the application, it will be it will be the normal size. So after two seconds, we want to increase the window state is equal to form window state enumerator dot maximized. Run it. So after two seconds, the color of the change uh, form changes as well as it's it becomes maximized. Thank you.